Uh, Mark, just wanted to ask you about the the move to put Kenrich at center and the way that he was really able to help you maneuver offense through the middle of the floor. He had a career high ten assists. Yeah, he was great, obviously, with the passing. But um, I thought that first group was just super sharp. You know, to start the game, you know, you can't underestimate the power of getting off to a good start, and particularly coming off the road, uh, coming to a home game. Those are tough games, and um, I thought the guys. We had a great practice yesterday. Um, good shoot around this morning, and I thought we were just mentally ready uh, to play really, really well as soon as the ball went up in the air. And I give that starting group, all five of those guys, um, they they played with great intensity and synergy to start the game and to start the third. They, Indiana, one of the best um, second quarter teams in the NBA, one of the best second units. They threw a punch at you, but your response seemed to kind of put the game away. What did you think about the way that you guys handled the adversity after getting off to such a good start? Yeah, it's hard to play when you're up by 20, you know, um, for a lot of different reasons. The opponent's going to crank it up, which they tried to do, I thought, a couple different times, um, and that all the human nature things creep in. And so we didn't play a perfect game, but uh, there were a lot of good things, and we earned the win. How much fun are you either personally feeling or, or feeling through the players when you're seeing the cutting and the, the pinging the ball and the, the baseline cuts that end up in corner threes? Uh, I'm just glad that, you know, I think the, the team is growing uh, in confidence and the confidence is, is kind of a collective confidence. It's not like an individual player just playing on a ridiculous streak or anything like that. It's uh, the group is, is gaining confidence together. And, um, you know, we want to be a team that, the whole is better than the sum of the parts, and that's one of the qualities that those teams have. And so, um, you know, that's that's the thing that I'm most pleased with. But, um, you know, these are new challenges now. We're going on the road playing two, you know, top teams in the West uh, on the road this weekend um, that are going to be ready to play against us. And so uh, we've got to get ourselves grounded and back to zero and uh, ready to take on those challenges. Uh, Pear Sauce and Valley Sports, wanted to get your thoughts on the defensive end of the floor for, for you guys throughout the night. 36 points off their turnovers, five guys with at least a block and, and a steal. Just what did you think of how that was able to kind of keep you afloat even when Indiana was throwing their punches throughout the night? Yeah, I thought we had, for the most part, we had great activity. We obviously had some lapses in the 48, but um, great activity, great intensity, like I said. I, I just thought that first group, you know, I can't say enough about how sharp we were to start the game. Uh, and we've talked about that. Uh, all season about the need to get off to good starts uh, and we did it coming off of like I said a, a road trip where you know we won a couple games and you know you're getting off the east coast and you know you're turning around it's the first time back in this building in you know seven or ten days or whatever and um, yeah I just thought the intensity and the sharpness the attention to detail and then the the synergy on offense to start the game just set a great tone for the night just speaking of that synergy on offense, 41 assists. And I know moving the ball is just a, a big key and, and a foundation to your offense overall. But did anything in particular stand out about about the way the ball was moving tonight particularly? Yeah, I thought the guys did a really good job, obviously. I mean, 41's an outlier, but um, some of it's the way you're getting guarded. They played a lot of zone tonight, and the way that they defend requires passing. And I thought the guys did a really good job of um, you know, taking what the defense gave. Uh, I thought there were some moments of the game where our attacks could have been better, our, our plays could have been a little earlier, but for the most part, um, you know, we played in a nice rhythm to, to, together tonight. You said 41 assists is an outlier, but that's a franchise record. But 41 assists on 47 made shots, that's really good. Uh, yeah. Just talk about how good, a good, how good basketball good of basketball you guys were playing yeah again i you know you can't take away you know you can't like parse out how you're getting defended you know it's a team that makes you beat them with a pass and so that was that's a huge part of it you know there's some teams that make you beat you by you know driving the ball or whatever and so um that had something to do with it but to the credit of our players there was a recognition of that and i thought we stayed kind of in that zone for most of the night um and you know this group has been you know like i said it, they're gaining, you know, collective confidence and they're growing together and there's a chemistry that comes through that. And I think the passing and the cutting uh, and the, the connectivity on defense, the communication on defense, I think, are all downstream from that. Is it sometimes a little tough to get lost in the fun that they, these guys are having as a coach? Like, does it, like, mention being happy and feeling good. Do you sometimes get lost in that? Um, I've... 
I try to stay pretty non-emotional because I think the game's emotional and, and, you know, that's for them to, to experience, whether it's not, whether it's, you know, enjoyment or whether it's frustration, you know, I try to just stay pretty balanced there, but, um, I definitely, with how hard they work and how committed they are and the fact that they're, I think everybody on the team is trying to invest and play the right way. And when they enjoy that process, um, you know, we're happy to see that. And I speak for not only myself. I mean, that's everybody that works, you know, in the building. Yeah, Cliff Brun, Associated Press, Isaiah Joe, 23 points, I believe 22 minutes, seven threes. Uh, the importance of the confidence level that he's playing with right now. Yeah, you know, I think his confidence comes from the fact that, um, you know, he hunts shots and he takes a very, you know, predictable diet of them. You know, he's got a very mature floor game for a guy that shoots it like that. He really doesn't take a lot of bad ones. He got one block tonight that I would consider, you know, a shot, obviously, that wasn't open, but... Um, he makes the right plays too. And, you know, I thought when he went back in the game in the fourth, obviously the game was, uh, the car was off the road a little bit there and his defense was what, you know, really changed the game. He got those two deflections at the nail. Um, and you know, it just speaks to the fact that there's more to him than just the shot making, but obviously that's really potent and helps us. And your select of the athletic, uh, Lou Dort was kind of all over the place in a good way yep. in this game, really efficient on offense rebounded like crazy what'd you think of his game uh, I thought he had a lot to do with the tone that we set early him and Kemrich with the switching and he had his chest on those guys uh the majority of the night and you know all five of those guys were good defensively early but he always is a tone setter on that end of the floor and then um you know thought he was he was pretty solid offensively you know like he's we, it's well documented his decision making is a work in progress but um I thought he took a lot of the right ones he made a lot of the right plays he had a couple that you know we probably want back, but uh, he continues to show growth on that on the floor too.